The American video streaming giant Netflix says it has signed a deal with Britain's Prince Harry and his wife Meghan to produce programs. The agreement will last for several years, although the financial details have not been released. It will involve documentaries, feature films, scripted shows and children's programming. In a statement, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said that their focus would be on content which informs but which also gives hope. And in a statement, the Netflix CEO, Ted Sarandos, said that we're incredibly proud they have chosen Netflix as their creative home and are excited about telling stories with them that can help build resilience and increase understanding for audiences everywhere. So let's get a bit more detail on this from New York. We're joined by Carly Ledbetter, who covers the British War family for the Huffington Post. Carly, in your write-up for this, you describe Prince Harry and Meghan are as our newest Netflix stars. Um, are we, do we know whether they're going to be appearing in front of the camera or what their kind of role will be? Will it be more similar to, say, the Obamas? What, what do we know exactly about this deal? It is a deal structured a lot like the Obamas. And for anyone who is a fan of Meghan on the uh, hit USA Network show Suits, she will not be returning to acting. But both she and Harry could appear in front of the camera for some documentaries, much like we've seen Prince Harry during his recent appearance on the Netflix documentary, Rising Phoenix. So they've been speaking to various different uh, media organizations. Of course, they did something with Disney, but what, what happened there? How come they didn't stay with them? You know, they were in talks with a lot of networks, including Disney and Apple. And, you know, Megan's uh, first post-royal project was a documentary with Disney. Prince Harry is already executive producing something with Apple. Uh, Netflix ended up, to my knowledge, being the one that, uh, you know, would pay the most for the couple. And, uh, yeah, they've got a lot, a lot of stuff to look forward to. So do you reckon it was basically about who will cough up the most to get them? Of course, they've, built, they've, they've bought a very expensive home in the United States. Uh, I guess they've got to make some money now. You know, they haven't confirmed uh, what the deal ended up being. Uh, there are estimates that it was north of $100 million. I assume that it was based a lot on, yes, price tag, but also creative control and how they can best tell their story. Now, when it comes to the content, they want it to be hopeful. They also talk about, um, you know, seeing as their new parents, about something to do with families. Will we know what kind of issues they're going to be looking at? Of course, the Obamas, they, they, the documentary that they were supporting won an Oscar. Yes. Um, we know that they want inspirational programming, as they said, that they are the parents of a young child. Uh, when they signed with their speaking agency, the Harry Walker Agency, they said that they were going to be focusing on mental health, the environment, racial injustice and gender equity. So we're going to see those themes pop up with their work. And also we'll see how it overlaps with what their new nonprofit Archwell is doing. Yeah, it'll be interesting, fascinating to see what they end up doing. But as you say, we won't expect a return to acting in the the, uh, the kind of suits uh, scenario that we had uh, uh, Megan in. Carly, thank you so much for talking us through that. Lots more on our website as always. Thank you so much for joining us here on BBC World News.